Win to break over and straight into arguably United's most significant game of the Premier League season so far. Beat Chelsea, the gap to the top four is down to three points. A defeat and then a nine-point gap would take some serious overhauling. Kovacic bursting from midfield and picks out as Pilicueta. The Croatian Kovacic. Nice ball that. James hits it well, and that whistles just wide of the far post. That's what they'll be looking to do. Obviously, they'll be looking to get the full backs involved as best they can. And it was a decent touch. I actually thought he was going to play it outside him. And as far as Pedro, and here comes Kovacic, who's breaking from midfield. As Pilicueta. Kovacic. Fred went with him. It's out as far as William. Which way he's going to go? Onto his left foot. William! Wow, how close was this? I think he was slightly more worried about that one, David De Gea. He's got a goal in him. He's got assists in him. But he's not on the field yet. Can United make the most of it? Martial has peeled that to the left-hand side. And Dan James, the man through the middle. Now Fred... Fred gets it back, Fred again, that was goal bound and it's behind for another Manchester United corner in the meantime Chelsea can make the change before United take this corner Yeah, I tell you what, it's decent interchange of passing that It's back to Rudiger, the German international who got both of Chelsea's goals in their last game if you remember in the 2-2 draw against Leicester Now Mason Mount finds a way around the back and then side-footed wide by Batshuayi the chance so far of the first half. Yeah, he saw the whole of the goal and he couldn't put it on target. Fred wins it back. This is now Fernandez. He had a look to the right, there was nobody there, but he finds Dan James. Dan James, Williams striding forward back towards James, and that's a very important clearance from Kovacic doing his defensive duty very well from central midfield. Yeah, decent. It's always looking like that left-hand side where we're going to create the overload with. Looked like he had a really useful set-piece delivery. Well, Fred takes that one, and this is going to drop to Brandon Williams, and now here is Fernandes. Has a go, why not? Having said that, <laughs> Bruno Fernandes can't tackle like that when you're coming up against skillful players. You have to uh, be better. Now Martial gets around the back, drives into the area, Martial! And that's as close as United have come in this first half. And he's dragged a super chance wide. Yeah, and he's got to do better as well. It's a lovely break. Here come Chelsea now. Closing stages of this half. Batshuayi. Bailly went with him. Well played, Eric Bailly. And then does a Cruyff Brilliant. inside the area. <laughs> Goodness me. I wouldn't want him to do it too often, but it's a super bit of defending. But again, the Manumatic puts us in trouble by giving the ball away. Fred, one Bazaka gets a lovely ball in Martial. Apart from that, <laughs> what a cross from Aaron Wan Bazaka and the header, magnificent. Anthony Martial into the corner, last minute of the first half, and how big could that be? Chelsea nil, United one. There you go, I made that little speech, Stuart, just so something like that would happen. But I tell you what, what an absolutely brilliant ball. What a brilliant ball. He just signs perhaps that Chelsea are going to have a little spell here. By he's robbed by Pedro. azpilicueta has got so much space on the outside of him. Here is Azpilicueta. And then Pedro. Heroic, heroic block. I don't understand what Eric Bailly's doing. William corner, there's a clear push in there. Oh, the volley goes in, but surely there's a foul there. Surely there is a foul. Zuma. There is a clear foul. And I would like, I would like Chris Kavanagh should... Yeah, there you go, quite right. And, and that, that is VAR at its best. It gets a lot of criticism, and at times you really do wonder about VAR, but in situations like that, it has worked perfectly. Yeah. Because if we had no VAR, the goal would have stood, and you can't have that. And you know what? He was absolutely adamant as well, Anthony Taylor. Last year, 
reached the final, lost against Villa. Pedro and under real pressure. Oh, trouble, perhaps. Referee says that's a free kick. How was close it? is this to being in the area? I, th I thought it was extremely close. It is Fernandez. He takes and goes for goal. Oh. So unlucky there. Caviero, you thought he might have been caught out. He wasn't in the end. Fernandez drills it in. McGuire! Magnificent header. The skipper. United in command now at Stamford Bridge. His first Premier League goal for United. A towering header. Fernandez's corner. Maguire's header. 2 0. I'll tell you what, Stuart. Wow. Well, I, I, I said in the first half, the Watford game, we, we've got somebody that can whiz corners in with his right. But I mean, what a ball. I mean, again, just like the Aaron Wan Bissaka goal, it uses the pace and the, and the trajectory of the ball. I mean, what a fabulous set. I mean, he was it, 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 he got away from his marker that I'm assuming was Rudiger. Well, I mean, even even in the, the the Sir Alex Ferguson dominating era. Hello. Oh, chance here. Oh, what a saving wow. challenge from Eric Bay, and they go and congratulate Eric Bay because he threw the kitchen sink at that. He certainly did. 18 wins, the United 16 in the Premier League. But what a chance for United to win here. But Mount has it. Dangerous ball in. And that's the danger of Olivier Giroud. Fabulous header at the near post. It's a great ball in from Mount. And Chelsea's forgotten man Giroud has given them hope. Hang on a minute. Oh, now, has he got half a toenail offside? Yeah, he's offside. It does look a bit offside, doesn't he? If you look at his foot... It does look offside. It depends where you draw the line and where well, he is offside. The position of the sun in the sky and <laughs> how you draw the line and whether your armpit's in line, all that sort of thing. Well, let's see. Is it going to be another goal ruled out? It oh, is. Yes, it is. It's offside. Wow. They just love VAR. Referee has a look at his watch. One last opportunity here for Chelsea. William. That's nicely worked, but that should be that. That's it. Manchester United move to within three points of the top four, and they've beaten Chelsea for a third time this season, and they do the league double over Chelsea for the first time since 1988. What a night for Manchester United. Harry Maguire with his first Premier League goal for the club, a powerful header from Bruno Fernandes' corner in the second half. Chelsea having two goals ruled out via VAR, one for Giroud, one for Zuma. Anthony Martial's marvellous header in the first half gave United the lead. And Odin Agallo... And a couple of minutes towards the end as well, and he almost scored on his debut. But Oli has won at Stamford Bridge for the third time in a year, and Manchester United right back in the hunt for the top four. What a night at Stamford Bridge! Chelsea nil, Manchester United two.